Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back. I am so excited to be back in the studio, mixing paint, getting my canvas ready. Being in here is just, I'm so filled with gratitude and thankfulness to be able to do this again, and I've missed it so much. So thank you all so much who have been so nice and sent me messages and comments and been so loving, and I just, I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much. So tonight we're gonna do something fun. I have picked a veritable feast of colors <laughs> because I couldn't decide what I wanted and then I said okay well let's go with what I like and let's turn it into sort of a rainbow so we do actually have a rainbow color here let me show you what we're working with first though this is a 24 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas I have taped and pinned the back and I painted my sides and edges no children helped me tonight it's all me I'm super excited about that to be able to get back in here and do what I love to do has just been amazing and awesome so Colors. Let's do, let's do the wonky finger. The wonky finger is still a little wonky. It works though, and I can bend. And I have all these hand exercises <laughs> that I'm doing. It was, at first it was sticking out like this, so now that it's like back down to almost fist is really good. So it's getting there. I'm doing my exercises. I'm going to physical therapy. Um, having a little cold right now, and today's the first day in like three days that I've actually felt human. So. I said, Tatoy, I have a burst of energy. Let's go. I want to paint. <laughs> While it lasts. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? Okay, so colors. Uh, some beautiful stuff here. This is Pebio Studios, this strawberry one that I really like. Let me put my glasses on so I can make a of oh, myself. <laughs> I can actually read. Iridescent red blue. Strawberry. Metallic strawberry. I love this. I think it's really, really pretty. My pouring medium is my Golden's Gel Gloss and Flotrol pouring medium. Okay, so that's that one. Then we have this one is Pebio Studios, also dark cadmium yellow. Really like this, kind of a light orange. Very pretty though, especially pretty next to that one. So this is gonna be good. And then we also have another Pebio. This one is opaque primary yellow. Put that there. And again, it's gonna look really beautiful next to these other two, which I'm excited about. Okay, then we have some Amsterdam greenish blue, which I haven't actually played with for a while because I've been out of it. And I just got some more. I love this color. This is amazing. Okay. I think it would be hard for me to decide which one I like more, that or the golden turquoise. <laughs> it's that close. Okay, another Pebio glasses back on iridescent green blue not the iridescent blue green which I also love which is a little more blue this is the green blue and it's beautiful when it's dry it's so pretty so super excited about these two together indigo come here baby where are you Amsterdam expert series indigo I keep trying to zoom in but I realize that it's because the cups are so small yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah these are nine ounce cups okay so this is indigo, luscious, deep, creamy goodness. Love this. Very excited about all of those blues together. Then we have this other Pebio. It's a Pebio night. Uh, Oriental violet, which is super pretty. Now, I'm not crazy about that. That sort of murky, <laughs> dulled down sort of purple. But when this dries, it does dry a little darker, which I like. So I am excited about using this one. Okay, so that's Oriental Violet. And then we have something I've also been waiting forever for, and I finally have one. This is Permanent Red Violet from Amsterdam. And I haven't had this probably in like a year, and I love this color, so I'm very excited to have this one back. And that's just gorgeous. Like, I would love lipstick this color. It kind of looks like the dead guy color. No, it is not Caput Mortem. Oh, okay. This is Permanent Red Violet. Don't call it the dead guy color. <laughs> Last time you called it the zombie color. <laughs> Giving this poor paint a bad name, it's already got a hard wrap, okay? Amsterdam Titanium White. And some Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold because Mina can't paint without a metallic, right? <laughs> and Copy to keep that. HOA happy, we've gone with his darling 24 karat. Oh. No, you have a thing for her. I know you do. It's okay. It's all right. I do too. It's all good, baby. She kept saying she was like, you know, your showgirl. She is. She's. I love her. She's. A, she's. She's. She's my workhorse. <laughs> okay. 
So, I think what I would like to do, ooh, and then I was gonna show you this, my base cut color. This is a Mod Podge mixture of a few different purples. Probably mostly is the um, Folk Art Treasure Gold in Antique Copper, but I know there's also some permanent blue violet in there too. So, drips, save your drips. Okay, so we're gonna have a base coat of this, and we're gonna use those colors and do a gorgeous wandering rain pour on there. And we're gonna leave negative space. So, let's layer our cup. For that size canvas, which is a 24 by 30, we need about 25.7 ounces of paint. So, um, I'm not actually gonna use 25 ounces of paint. This is a 16 ounce cup. Because I'm gonna put down a base coat, and I want negative space, I'm purposely not using 25 ounces. I'm gonna use 16 ounces. I can always pour more if I need to. Not a big deal. Okay, so we're gonna layer. We're gonna start, I think, we're gonna go backwards. So right now we have red, orange, yellow, blue, green, indigo, violet, and then white and gold. But I'm gonna start on this end and work my way that way. So we're gonna start with a tiny amount of white. And I do mean tiny. And part of the reason I like putting the white there is it also shows me where the end of the cup is. So we're going to put some gold in. Again, a small amount, just a drizzle. We're going to come in with some violet, the oriental violet. Now the permanent, ooh, I was going to put gloves on, huh? Yeah, let me do that. <laughs> where did I put them? Somewhere. Okay. I will layer it and then we'll put the gloves on. Okay, so we'll do some permanent red violet. Ah, oh, that's so pretty. I love that. Okay, now I'm going to put just a smidge of white in there and a smidge of gold. Okay, mm, how do I want to do this? Okay, we're going to go indigo first. And then we're going to do some of this greenish blue and then we're going to do some turquoise oh, that's so pretty. a greenish blue yeah greenish blue okay now another layer of white and another layer of gold call this one the great barrier reef <laughs> and some yellow and some orange And we're gonna end it with that beautiful strawberry-ish iridescent red blue. I don't know why it's red blue. It's strawberry. It's okay. Okay, now we're gonna put another layer of white and we're gonna do that all over again. Quickly though. <laughs> okay. That's so cool. I love this. But I start with this one. Okay. Dead guy red. Shh! Stop it, you! <laughs> Okay, and now we go indigo. I go indigo, you go indigo. We all go indigo. <laughs> Greenish blue. Ooh, that's pretty. Another greenish blue. That's what, okay. <laughs> They're both greenish blue. <laughs> Opposite ends of the spectrum. Okay. okay. See, very small amounts of gold. And just to be contrary, I'm gonna put some of that on there too. Okay, cool. I'm excited. You two stay there. Here. That's a lot of paint. <laughs> but actually, it's not. So it'll be fine. put our base coat down first. Most of it. Maybe not all of it. But we're definitely going to put...
Okay, so we're going to do, did I just get paint on my face? Uh, <laughs> no, all right. Okay, we're not gonna do our gold this time. Okay, so we're gonna start over here and we're gonna do old school wandering ring pour, okay? Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. I love you, honey. Thank I you. Love you too. Here we go. Time. Really pretty in there. I like it a lot. Okay. Let's move this around a little bit. Find the paint. And we're just gonna dance with it a little bit and stretch this out. I do want to leave negative space on here, so. I'm gonna go kind of like that. Stop. Bring it back to center and down this way. And we're gonna stretch out this part and the bottom. Do you want to go all the way off the corner and off the side? Okay. <laughs> That's awesome. Wee! Copy wee. That's awesome. Cool. All right. Just one little adjustment. I'll take it down on this side just a little bit because I don't want it to be a straight line going across. I like that wave look. There we go. Woohoo! That's cool. I like it. What do you think? I dig it. Okay. The only part that I'm not really digging is this little bit like in here actually it's kind of cool oh, not dig it okay that's cool i love it i love this part in here that's so pretty and all of this with this gradient a little bit but you see all of the colors that's awesome i'm happy that's jeff let's torch it happy kitty <laughs> cool um yeah i'm happy i'll show you guys when it's dry thank you so much for hanging out with us and for being with us and sticking with us and you know you guys are amazing oh please check out our fluid art boutique website for our classes that we will be teaching in dublin ireland in june of 2024 at the castle fitzpatrick hotel it's going to be amazing time over there i'm so excited karen dershon's going to be there sarah mack myself we have Fiona from Fiona Art. We have Erica Hughes Art with us and Fosia from Fosia Creations and our special guest, the original Naughty Nate, Nate Bright Art. So this is gonna be an amazing, amazing event. Please check out the website and check out the classes that are being offered. Um, get your hotel reservations quick if you wanna stay at the castle. So <laughs> um, make your reservations now. This is gonna be fun and I hope we see you there and I'm so excited and thrilled to be pouring in a castle. I mean, come on, who gets to do that? We do. So 
It's gonna be fun. Be there. All right, I'll show you when it's dry. Love you guys. Bye. I love that. That's gorgeous. You like it? Uh-huh.